Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I know everything is a hot mess if you can zoom in to see. <laughs> There's so many things coming out of this art studio right now. Today we are gonna be doing The It Clown. I have to admit, I've never seen the movie. I've only seen, I know about the red balloon and something about like the sewers. I think maybe I'm getting them mixed up anyway we are doing an off the map project we're gonna be putting it together and I'm super excited about this one because um, I thought it would be really cool to incorporate so this is <laughs> the request was this is going in a girl's bedroom um, I guess she really likes this clown and so I in my head I immediately thought of um, glow in the dark so this little guy is HTV so it's luminous so it's gonna glow in the dark so I'm super excited to be mixing the the different um, products today because normally I do this and it's always um, mostly glitter cardstock so we're gonna have glitter cardstock but we're also gonna be adding this little guy so let's get started I already have the black background here what you wanna do is you wanna flip it over, which I already have it on the back side. You want it on the back side because we're gonna be taping it from the back, because on the front is gonna be all the glitter cardstock and in this case also the HTV. So when you're putting this together, I always do two pieces at one time. So I pick up one side, push it against the other, so that I get a really good, um, I mean, just so that we're, we're just trying to eliminate any seams, right? I mean, we're gonna have seams because that's the whole point of off the mat is we know we're slicing, we know we're gonna have seams, but the trick is to not have the seams be obvious, right? And in this case, we have this beautiful glitter red balloon. We're gonna have the faces glowing in the dark. So I'm hoping we're not gonna notice any seams. So you can see the background is in six pieces. We're just gonna be taping these up. So now I'm pushing this one up against this one. We don't want it to catch any light, any movement, cause that's when you're gonna notice the seams. So I'm just going to tape it like this. Knowing that this image is, I mean, for the most part, the black is only in the outline, right? Cause everything else is his orange hair. It's gonna be the HTV face. Um, you know, red mouth, all that stuff. So you're not gonna notice, hopefully not notice, the seams on the edge. All right, so these two, I'm gonna do this. And then we'll put the pairs together. And then I'm gonna heat up my, H, my, um, my press. I'm gonna use the Cricut press because um, it's on paper. So I don't wanna, you know, I want more control over it than with the heat press. Um, so that's what I'm going to use my six by seven just to give myself even more control over where it's going. The only reason why I'm not using my mini is because I really want to make sure to not, cause it's his face. I want to make sure that my temperature is correct. So I didn't want to do the bars like, you know, do I do one bar, two bars? I could have done that, but I really want to make sure that I have this right. I would, I have enough material to of course, if there's any mistakes, <laughs> you, know, you know that's gonna happen because usually these projects, I'm, it's the first time I'm running through it because it's good to run into these mistakes, right? Then you guys know how to handle it. If you see me do it perfect um, and then you run into the errors, you're not gonna know how to fix it. So hopefully with me doing it this way, you guys will see the common mistakes that may occur. All right, so this is totally taped up, right? We're gonna flip it over. This is gonna be the front side. So let's cut this up. So I need to remove his arm or his little fist, I mean. So I'm just gonna cut this and let's see where everything goes. All right, so that fist goes down here. Ooh, the paper's so thick, I can barely see over it. I'm gonna trim this a little bit more so I can see it better. Now this is um, HTV from Polytape. So I am super excited to be working with them because um, I don't, you know, I don't do a lot of shirts and sweatshirts and stuff because 
I'm always worried about how well my HTV is going to hold up and um, I don't know. I really just didn't want to deal with that part of the customer service about, you know, things peeling and such. So um, I've avoided that. <laughs> um, but working with poly tape, um, I'm learning the ins and outs of HTV. So I am super excited to be sharing that with you guys as I learn my tips. So, so I'm kind of putting everything down so that I get a good idea of where his face goes. Cause look at that, that's not where his face goes. It goes something like this, right? So we're gonna put it down only to remove it. Cause I don't want, I don't want these pieces to get heat when they don't have to. But I just wanna get a good idea of where everything goes so that we can make the adjustments now. So, it looks obvious where everything should go, but it's not. <laughs> so I'm, sorry, let me move that down a little bit so you can see it better. So obviously this goes right here, but I wanna make sure that that's lined up nicely. And then let's see what goes here. A piece of his orange hair, like that. And then a piece of the red. I mean, this is gonna look so good. So I already went to the bathroom, sh shut the door to see how dark it was, and it totally glows in the dark. So I am super excited about this. Okay, so this is, I think this is how his face goes, like that. Um, I don't think we need to put the rest down because I think as long as we have these parts down and it looks good. Okay, so let's heat up. I'm gonna turn on my heat press. I'll be right back. I'm gonna just move things around before I knock it all over. Um, all right, so let's see. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm just heating up everything. Okay, so what do I know? I know this thing needs to be on. Oh, what oh. <laughs> I'm hitting the C button like, why isn't it turning on? Because I'm not hitting the power button. Okay, so temperature, let's move this over so you can see it a little bit. Okay, temperature is going up to, let me look at my notes. See, I'm serious when I tell you guys, like I, we're using the Luminous HTV. Um, so this is going to be 320 degrees. I'm just super excited to really get to be an expert on HTV. You know, because we, I'm on social media, I look at other people's accounts and I feel like there's a lot of myths out there about what you should do with HTV. So now we're gonna we're gonna know. Um, okay, so this is gonna be 15 seconds. All right, so it's at 15 seconds. I'm gonna put this aside right here. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do with this guy is I don't want this to move at all. So I'm gonna tape it down just a little bit. Just at the edges. So this is actually not sticky at all. So you can see the, normally it's sticky. This one isn't. So I just wanna make sure that this doesn't move. All right, I feel like this is good. Cause it's so much to put down all of the silver, but I feel like I should, huh? Okay, we can put it on top. Let's see. So this is gonna go like that. This piece is gonna go, why doesn't this piece look right? Um, which piece is this? This looks, okay, so I guess it's a good thing that we are testing this out because, 
Yeah, it is good. Okay. Because it does go here. Look. And this is a little bit off. <sighs> so good. <laughs> so good that we didn't do that. Okay, let's just let's just put down the pieces so that we know. Yeah, so this goes like this, which means this needs to move up a little bit more actually. It needs to be more like that. Okay. Well, and while we're here, we might as well check everything else. Let's see, where does this little piece go? I welded some of these pieces together, so that's why it's not so obvious to me where things go. Oh, this goes up here, maybe. All right. This one goes, I don't know. And I'm so bad at this, hold on. <laughs> Why is there a loop, oh, okay. So this actually, does this go up more? There we go. That goes there. This hand goes here. This goes here. I'm sorry, let me move this up a little bit. Let me turn off. Sorry, that's much better. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I do. I mean, I always recommend that you put things together beforehand, but I felt like we had enough, but we didn't because I would have still, I would have made a huge mistake. Let's see. I'm missing something here, that's not right. I don't know what's going on. Um, I think I have it in the wrong place, but we shall see. <laughs> Let's do there, that goes there. Oh, I see, okay, this goes no. There. See, I feel like this piece is wrong. Does that go like that? What in the world? Something is weird over there. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Looking good other than that. <laughs> I don't know why that looks so bad. Okay, there's a string coming down. It goes down here. Okay, so this goes here. So there's the string. Oh, there's something weird right here. Because I welded some of these pieces together too, so now I'm like, what am I looking at here? Wait a minute. I'm so, oh, you know what? I have this, hold on. This is why this is good. I'm gonna change my canvas, so give me a second. On my, so I have a screen right in front. So let's switch out my canvas so I can see the parts. Uh, come on. And then we'll, and then we'll add the, the heat. Okay, let's see what we have here. And it's so hot, which is why my hair is crazy right now because I can't imagine putting it down. Um, all right. So like I said, while we're waiting for this to pop up, I am very glad that I did not press it because it would have been really hard to get the cardstock pieces to fit correctly. Um, oh my goodness. Come on, design space. It's not letting me pull up. Oh, there. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the materials while this is pulling up. 
um, glitter cardstock. You can see that HTV. Really, this was one of the more simple ones because the face has this is these are separate pieces as well as the ears but because it's all attached it was just one piece right same thing with the fist the fist was just two pieces but it was really nice because everything else was like the balloon is just one giant piece the hair is in two pieces one big orange piece and one small one here the only thing that was difficult was the collar with which is what i'm struggling with right now <laughs> Okay, this is why this is wrong. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna lift this up. Let's piece together all of this. This is why this is not right. I was struggling the whole time. It didn't make any sense to me because I didn't have it right. <laughs> okay. Makes more sense now. Let's see, is this the right piece? No, I think, oh no it is. Um, what is that? Okay, so this is more this way. There's a string coming down right here. Okay, so this black string, oh yeah, it makes more sense. I can see it on the thing. Um, okay, there's a little piece right there that I'm missing. Okay. And then the rest of the pieces are his face. So I'm not going to deal with that. Let's look at this real quick. So now, actually, I'm going to trim this off so that it, I'm going to leave my paper on because I don't want to ruin the alignment. So I'm trimming all around it to make it super easy to place this down and to apply the heat. I can't even imagine if this was sticky. Um, I would have been lifting on and off. Almost there. Okay, here we go. So we've got this down. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna look in the screen. This looks good on screen. I'm gonna move it down a little bit more. It's kind of hard for me to even still tell because the outline is throwing me off a little bit, but I think it looks good. Okay, so I think that looks good. Um. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous with all this stuff down. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoot everything out. We'll do the hand. Oh, I should have done the hand first. Okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't put the thing underneath. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna tape this down a little bit. Um, we should use resistant tape, heat resistant tape. Give me a second. Where did I put that? Oh. Oh, I have it right here. Okay, so this is heat resistant tape. And actually, hold up. Let me look at this image real quick. I know. Now I'm like, oh, wait a minute, we should have done the hand, so give me a second. So now you know, this is what we should do. First, put down all your colored pieces. Then, put down your HTV. Then, tape down your HTV, and then remove the colored cardstock. That is what I should have done with the hand. The face is okay, but the hand, I should have done that because now I feel like I wanna just double check real quick. That looks about right, so I'm just gonna tape it down. Okay, I'm gonna regret this. 
I have a feeling. Okay, I'm gonna move all these pieces out because I don't wanna get it heated. It's okay if it does get a little bit of heat, but it's, all right, let's um, tape down the face real quick. Because I gotta get a, um, the, the heat pad underneath. Otherwise, I'm gonna ruin my surface. Okay, so all of this is down. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oh, this is a lot of work for this. <laughs> all right. Um, heat pad, okay. And I also have my Teflon sheet ready to go. So here's the big heat pad. I'm gonna lift this up. Okay, stick that underneath. Move this out of the way. Stick this underneath. All right, so that's completely covered. Okay. Ready? Here we go. And luckily with this, I don't need to put a lot of pressure on because it's just going on cardstock. So it's supposed to be 15 seconds. And since I'm moving it around, I'm going to do 15 seconds a few times. And it is warm to cool, so I'm going to give it a second before. All right. It looks like it's down. I'm just making sure it's all down. And then before we do the hand, I just want to make sure that we learn. Oops, and it moved. I didn't tape it down very well. I'm going to look at this again. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> okay, let's see if this worked. Okay, the ear didn't go down completely. Give it a little bit more time on the ear. And then I'm gonna move it over on this side and give it a little bit more time as well. Oh yeah, now the ear is stayed down. Okay, here we go. Let's see. our fingers let's see okay it's coming off And I'm going to do another press. 
with the Teflon over it just to because we're kind of pulling it up a little bit so we're just going to give it a little bit more oh no it's not staying down okay I wish my HTV experts were here with me <laughs> maybe next time I'm going to do it on the phone with them on zoom okay so I'm going to peel this off because it is sticking it's activated it's just not completely down but the piece is big enough that I feel like I can piece it together and give it the final heat that it needs to stay oh no there's stuff on this hold on okay HTV is thick enough so it's not you know it's not delicate so it's it feels almost like um, latex okay like gloves all right here we go almost there like he has some freckles I'm not really sure why <laughs> all right let's see how this works out I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet down and give it one more press All right, he's down. All right, let's do the hand. Oh my gosh, it's gonna look so good. Cut it so short, it's hard for me to pull up. Okay, here we go. So it didn't completely stay down. I wonder if I should do the same. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tips afterwards. We'll see. So I'm going to put the Teflon sheet over. Mm. 
and then I'm going to press it for a little bit longer and then we'll put on the pieces. Now I'm going to be using Barely Art Glue today for the rest of the pieces. So we're going to be trying out a different tip as well. Um, I've been using the precision tip because most of the pieces that we do are so small, but today the pieces are going to be bigger. So, all right, so I'm going to un I'm turn this off, unplug it, and move it out of the way. I think we can hold it. Oh, okay. Let's get started on this. Okay. I just love this. Um, all right, let's put on our pieces. Let's move out our mats. And remember, all this is going on a foam board as well. So it's gonna be sturdy and wonderful. Okay, let's piece this again. We're gonna put this down, okay. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. I know you can't see that white part. Let me move it down a little bit for you to see. Looks good. <laughs> All right, let's see. We've got this little piece here. Oh, that looks so good. I'm excited. Um, let's see, where does this go? And then there's some blood. Let's see. This goes over here. Maybe this goes over here. There's only so many different ways this can go. The other way. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? We've got this little piece over here. That looks good. All right, then we just have this piece that I had trouble with the first time. <laughs> no, what did I do? Mm. Here I go again, trying to figure this out. All right, there we go. <laughs> Is that why? No. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Getting there. All right, this little piece down here. Okay. 
Now we're getting there. Oh my gosh, yay, almost there. Let's see, no. <laughs> I jinxed myself. Um, here we go. There's one more piece right here. Yay, okay. Now we just wanna make sure we like the spacing of everything. So now is the time to make your adjustments before we glue everything down. And I'm kind of looking in the camera as well because sometimes it's hard for me to see straight down. Um, but see, here's the line for the balloon. That looks very clear to me. This needs to be moved over a little bit. I'm missing, am I missing a piece there? No. Oh my gosh, he looks so good, right? Okay, so let's start putting him down. Um, so here's my glue. I'm gonna be using the thicker tip today. So I'm just gonna take this off, put this on, and let's start. So it's kind of easy to do the, the face just because all the, you know, the face is already down. So now we're just putting the inside. So I'm just going to lift the nose. Whoa. <sighs> My first time using this tip. That was a lot of glue. So I'm just going to take some of this, wipe it off there, and then put it down. When you're working with glue, what I like to do is... I wanna hold it down for a couple seconds for the glue to adhere. Barely Art glue dries very, very quickly. So it's not like we have to hold it forever, but I wanna make sure that while it's drying, um, that I'm holding it down to kind of just keep it in place. I am so excited, this looks so good. And I'm moving this around with my hand, so <laughs> we'll have to come back to that. All right, let me look at the eyes. The eyes need to go over a little bit more. I think it needs to go like that. Yeah, that looks good. So good. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> All right, let's do this red. So we're just doing everything in the face. I'm just going to hold that down a little bit longer. Then I'm going to do this.
since we spent so long on the HTV part, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you how to do the foam board. I'm going to do it. You can just, you know, <laughs> you always have the option of logging off. Okay, so the face is all down. Let's do this little guy right here. I know I talked myself out of it. Then I talked myself back into it. So I'm just gonna hold it down like I was saying. Hold it down, give it time for it to just stick to the entire piece of cardstock and then lift up so you don't have any movement later. Like it won't flip up a little bit. I love this so much. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna do a little sneak peek in the bathroom so that we could see the the glow. Okay, let's do, I don't wanna to touch the bottom. The bottom I'm going to redo after we do the top part. So I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. Make sure that's all good still. Because I want to make sure that if the bottom is off, like if anything is off, what you want to do is you want to you want to you want to redistribute the mess up, right? So like if we're really off, let's say underneath the chin, we want to sort of make adjustments all throughout. So it's like a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the sides, so that one part doesn't look so off. So that's why I didn't want to glue down the red in case I need to make some adjustments down here. That, that way it gives me just space to make adjustments all throughout so that one spot doesn't look really, really bad. If everything's just slightly off, no one will notice. Except for us, because I'll point it out. <laughs> then we have to try to forget it. Or as my daughter says, just forget you saw it or heard it. <laughs> then it's all gone. Okay, so that's down. Everything, almost everything up here is down. So we have the big red balloon and the orange hair. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna hold this down. Go wipe the glue. It does dry clear, but I'm just wiping the excess. I just wanna hold it down so that there's no curving. this guy Same thing with the balloon. This is a big part. So I want to just make sure that all the pieces 
are attaching itself to the card stock, the black card stock. So I'm just keeping my hands down while it's drying. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I've never even seen this movie, but now I feel like I need to. I might need to make one for myself. Okay, let's readjust this if we need to make any adjustments. So I'm going to look in the camera and it actually still looks pretty good. Does all that look good? Right? looks pretty good. So I'm going to try to pick up these little pieces and do the little pieces without moving the big pieces. That way when we go to do the big piece it's easier to align it because we have all these clues that are already down and stuck. It should be dry, but I'm just going to press down a little bit longer. Okay. Um, this little piece, I'm going to have a hard time picking up, so I'm just using my We Are Memory Keepers quick stick. So you see, it's just so nice because it picks up. It's great for also oh, when you're doing gems, rhinestones. Love this. This is so exciting. I love when something comes out the way you expect it to. All right, so I'm just moving my way around. The, we have one big piece here, two, three, that will be the last three that we do. Let's see if we want to adjust this at all. That looks good. That looks better. Okay, there's a straight line for our balloon. So we're seeing that. Let's do this piece. down. Let's do this little guy. Um, I'm just going to grab this little tool right here so I can hold on to it. I put a little bit too much glue. I just want to flip it over and dab it off a little bit. Now how did this piece go? Like 
Oh my gosh. How did I have it? Oh, it was like this. So bad. <laughs> Alright, so that's down. I think I have just this piece and then the, the three big pieces, four big pieces. So let's do this piece. Oh, and this piece isn't down. This little piece up here, oh my gosh, it's getting so close. I can't, I'm dying to take this to the bathroom so that I can close the door. I know none of my other rooms are dark enough, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Especially when you have a piece like this, you want to make sure that your hand is down on it so it doesn't pop up. And if it does pop up, because it's going to happen, um, I would put like a little glue dot, like those sticky dots, and that will keep it down. Okay, so that's all down. Yay! Okay, um, let's do... So we have three pieces left. This piece, this piece, and this long piece. So I'm going to do this piece next. So if you saw the design space tutorial, the collar is actually in many, many pieces, but I welded like a little piece here together. I welded another piece right here together because it's a lot easier to piece it together when there's less pieces and then you know exactly where it goes. And you saw me struggle still. So, um, but I couldn't weld these small pieces, right? Because I mean, those pieces, they have to be like that. But when you can, like right here, there's no need for this to be its own little piece. Like I feel like this looks like the way it was designed. So I'm super, super happy with it. <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. All right, so let's lift up this piece and do this one. This is so cool. I just can't get over it. <laughs> All right, one last piece. Here we go. This one right here. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I highly recommend it because you get so many pictures and um, you don't have to participate. You don't have to be active on Instagram. You could just be a viewer. So 
Um, I totally get it, but you're missing out on so many cool pictures. <laughs> okay, so this one has a lot of pieces. I want to just press down to let it dry. I'm going to lift it up. He's big! Look at it! Next to me, you can tell, right? Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh my gosh! Wait, we still have one more piece. We didn't do the red piece. Not a big deal. But, <laughs> I know, I'm just so excited. Okay. And I really want to press this down so it doesn't pop up. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, yeah, I do think I'm gonna do the foam board as a separate tutorial. So I will see you for that one. Let me know what you think. Post your comments, questions, um, special requests, all of that. I'm here for it. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.